Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Hello everybody, it's Crackdown of Gaming, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. The last time I played this, I ended up getting the confusion ending. So this time, I'm gonna run through and do what the voice tells me to do. Because that's always a great idea. And just kind of see what happens. So let's just, let's just get right into it. This is the story of a man named Stanley. I believe you've said that. Just go ahead and go ahead and skip it. Hey! Got an achievement for... something. You get a trophy for getting a trophy? That's funny. I don't know if you guys can see that, but All I just got... workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley I don't know. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Mayhaps. Or maybe I just came in on a day that nobody came in. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Sure thing, voice man. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office Hoping he might find an answer. There. I was reading that. How did a service be with a coworker? Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passive aggressively on other coworkers. Re <laughs> Slow down. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic on the header. Very well done. <laughs> I was reading that. Who's controlling the thing? Where even is it? Is that it? Hmm. I have no way to disprove that. Okay, I'm not even really paying attention at this point. What's all this stuff say? By quarterly post review review. What does that say? Oh, we need less reviews. But I think that's a stupid idea. I, I agree with that. We need more reviews on everything. Even these doorknobs need reviews. This floor needs a review. These walls need reviews. These hallways, too much like the back rooms. That's a review. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. But there's an ominous red light. No, I already said what we were doing this video. I'm committing. Ooh, fancy. What's that? That was just a texture. I'm messing with your keyboard. Nah. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth 
that his boss had been keeping from him. And oh. so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. <laughs> 2485. What? Was it Stanley two? just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input any yet incredibly hey. by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code oh. by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Hmm. Shiny button. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt was more it? free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never doody, occurred to doody, him? Doody, doody, this doody, question doody. would not go unanswered for long. Unless I forget the question. Aha! Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Follow the story! Just this once! Button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Maybe. I don't know. This makes me want to play Portal. They said they're releasing, they're re-releasing Portal on console here soon. I hope they do. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Yeah, sounds like a typical office job. School too. This mind control facility is that Mario? Too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions that one's had been no, right created to accept it blindly? That looks like an old like Atari game, or is it just graphs? Bring it up one more time. Come on, come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Yeah, that looks like some order kicking. Okay, now that I look at it, it's just graphs, but look like it. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life pirate? in someone else's control never. Am I the pirate? It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I mean, but here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded uh, from this very place. And as the cold oh. reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay, so how am I... I don't have, like, a hammer or anything. Is there a shiny red... Oh. Probably the room that says facility power. Like, I know what they mean, but it bugs me that it doesn't say power facility. Do I have to hit him in a sequence? 
I mean, there's five, three, one's right there. I'm going to take a wild guess and say two's up here, I'm assuming. Okay, I'm just going to stop assuming and just follow along with the story. See what I get for assuming? Nothing. I waste time. I'm an idiot. Dum dum. Small brain. Smooth brain, nonetheless. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. blackness, and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? No. Yes. Oh. He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments oh, away. Oh, I'm playing. I thought this was a cutscene. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Okay. Yeah, sorry I went all oh, quiet at the end of it. It's just, I... Huh. That was an oddly nice ending. Like, I was, I was half expecting to walk up to that and it'd just be like a screen or the door just slammed down and it'd all be ripped away or something. But no, that was like a legit good ending. Huh. I, uh, okay. Uh, I guess this is going to be a shorter one. All right. Huh. Okay. I, 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 I guess we'll just leave it here for now. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.